and happy Wednesday. It is 5.30 in the morning, but I've been up since about 4. It's been a good morning. Steven snoring woke me up. Alright gang, so I just finished answering all the YouTube comments um, on my latest video, which is this Clean With Me video. Um, it was a lot of fun to film. So many of you talked about the quality. No, my new vlogging camera hasn't come. It's supposed to come today. But this is just my regular Canon big DSLR that I've been using um, probably since February for all my sit-down videos. I purchased that one probably then, around my birthday. Um, and what I've done is I've been studying on how to set like ISOs and aperture and all of that myself manually instead of relying on auto and it has made such a huge difference in the quality of my videos. I am super super excited about just the way it looks. I also did all the lighting myself for that one so I'm really really happy with it. Really happy with it. But what I'm even more excited about gang is we are at 9,919 subscribers in six months. In six months, we're going to hit 10,000. My goal for this year was to hit 1,000 <laughs> subscribers, and we're going to hit 10,000 in six months. Um, it's just super cool. It's super cool. And you know what else is really cool? Is that... Oh. This is the book that I'm interested in currently. I might go to Barnes & Noble today and check it out. What else is really cool is that I started a Facebook group based off of last week's vlog where people wanted more accountability. It's called The Kindness Community, and it's all about taking care of yourself so that you're better for others. It has already grown to about 200, maybe a little over 200 members. We just post positive things, whether it be a meal, what we did for our workout, inspirational quotes um it's super cool and it's a great way this was one of my favorites from yesterday <laughs> heather this has to be one of the best pictures anyone has posted so far but um it's a really great community if you want to join it it is nothing but positivity and love and it's super inspiring i've been so motivated and it's a great way to get to know you guys even more like i feel like i'm getting to know so many of you so well which is like really really cool but um yeah so all youtube comments are answered i just posted the morning inspiration on kindness community um what else is planned for the day uh i am debating whether or not to take the day off working out only because I've worked out five days in a row at a really intense pace and today my arms and shoulders are like killing me. Um, yesterday's workout we ran on an 8%, 6%, and 4% incline at a, between a 6 and an 8 speed. <laughs> I I am beat but um, I'm thinking of doing some sort of home workout um, but I can still go to the gym if I want to. Um, so I'm debating on that. I'm going to see how the morning goes because there's some things I want to get done. Um, I'm meeting my best friend and her baby for breakfast this morning. And then I am going to film two videos. Bubba's is awake. Bubba's is awake because the garbage is being collected. And he hates large trucks. Um, so meeting my best friend for breakfast. We're going to take her baby for a walk on the canal. 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 Um, we're going to take her baby for a walk on the canal and just catch up and talk. And then I might run over to Barnes & Noble to check out that book. And then I want to film June favorites, a what's on my iPhone video. I might even film June favorites outside um, just because it'd be like a little different. Um, and then the other thing I thought about doing today is restyling the majority of the downstairs and when I say that I'm going to restyle it does not mean I'm going to go out and buy all new stuff what I love to do is like I gather up a bunch of accessories and just restyle them throughout the home um, and put them in different rooms so that like things that are in the office that I never see can come out into the living room and I can enjoy them. Um, so I might show you guys a little bit of like a little bit of a restyle. I actually started doing that with the kitchen yesterday when I filmed the clean, the cleaning tips and habits video. Um, 
and I love how it turned out. It looks really beautiful. I'll show you guys like what I changed out over there. Um, and then my new vlogging camera is supposed to come today, which I am super excited about. Um, it's supposed to be the best vlogging camera out there. It is the Sony RX100 Mark V. I splurged, bought it, and uh, yeah, I'm super excited. So that is the plan right now. I'm gonna finish some things here online. I do need to check my work email and then I will reconnect with you in a little bit. So I'm getting ready to head to breakfast uh, and a walk with my best friend. And I'm just wearing these really cool gray monochromatic Nikes, black joggers, white t-shirt, yeah. So many of you asked about this bracelet that I wore in the cleaning video and it's just a marble bracelet with these lava beads and you can put essential oils on them so uh, I always keep lavender on it and then you can smell it anytime you need like that relaxation of it all right it is super cold out it's not it's 58 degrees so I'm gonna grab my coat my wallet my keys and then we will get going <music> It is one of our favorite spots. It's called Village Bakery. It is literally the best breakfast ever. So, gonna go get something to eat and officially get the day started. All right, see you soon. All right, gang. So, my entire day has kind of been blown apart. It's now 11.45. I met my best friend at nine. <laughs> and her baby for breakfast and we went for a walk and before you knew it, it was going on noon. But um, I had a really big breakfast. It had like scrambled eggs and avocado and arugula and a little bit of cheese and a piece of bacon. Um, it was delicious, but I will be good for the day. And Bubba's and I, hey, what are you doing? I'm gonna go get him. I'm gonna get you. He, see, he is not an outside dog gang. Every chance he gets, he wants to go back in. Do you want a cookie? Do you want a cookie? You have a set. You have a set. You have a set. Well, yes, we'll get a cookie. I am like desperate for change within the living room. So I'm gonna start collecting some things around the house and then just start refreshing everything and restyling things and just making them feel new again. So let us start collecting things. just blank space to work with. I wiped everything down so it'll be super clean, but everything is just blanked out. And I give myself permission to not use all this stuff, and that's okay. And it will find a purpose somewhere else or it will go into storage. So I'm just gonna start re-accessorizing the room and styling it and seeing how it goes. And I'm gonna jam out to June's playlist that will be on my favorites video this weekend. Let's get a good before.
and I'll see you for the after. So it is now about 1.30 and I have gone ahead and refreshed everything and I just feel like the rooms breathe a little bit. You realize that there's stuff that you didn't need. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I did a little bit around the house. So this is the new island centerpiece. I decided to put some things that I actually use around my kitchen. So there's that marble rolling pin I picked that up at Target. A set of my white dishes that I use along with another dessert plate that we use often. Our cheese cutlery I just threw in there as well and I think it looks really good. Also what has motivated this whole switch is I really restyled the whole sink area. So I put the cutting board here with the book The Year of Cozy which is a great book along with our cactus which has grown immensely. And my tea stuff is there like it normally is. Rearranged that a little bit and just kind of like streamlined everything. So you can see what the countertop looks like. Normally I would encourage people not to put a lot on their counter spaces, but the fact is with this house, like we have so much prep space that I'm okay with it. But I think it looks really good. I'm happy with it. Over here in the kitchen, I just brightened up with some white crystals and kept everything pretty much the same. It's the same tray, same plant, same lantern, just the little accessories changed. This table, I just like the way it's working, so I kept it exactly the same, except I just changed out the crystal. Then when you move into the living room, this has completely changed because the tray that used to be here is now in the island and the one that used to be on the island is now here. I just made it feel a lot brighter for summer so there's a lot more whites. And then over here, same thing, just brightened it up, moved a brighter green plant over here. Um, Estee Lalonde's book bloom is always there because I always look at it. Kept my pillows all the same. The mantle is really simple. Um, kept it really clean and then the entertainment center just like paired stuff out and let it breathe a little bit for summer and then brightened it up over there a little bit with a green plant but yeah it just kept it really simple and it feels really airy and light which is exactly how I'd want it to feel for summer so my rule would be gather all your stuff up Use that to decorate before going out and buying and you can really refresh and make everything feel kind of new again. I hope that is helpful to you. If you decide to do this, I would love to see your table collection of everything that you gather. So tag me over on Instagram. I'll show you the things that didn't make the cut. So things that are going to be put back into storage, this tray and this basket full of accessories. So that will all be going back into storage or donated if I don't have a spot for it. But yeah, this feels nicer. So it is 1.30 and should I go to the gym at 4.15? I'm thinking yes. So, so I thought it could be really cool if we hit 10,000 subscribers together because honestly none of this is possible without you. So we are currently at 9,999. Let's just hit refresh and see what happens. All right. Not yet, but if someone finds the channel and likes it and subscribes, we'll be at 10,000 and you will have shared this moment with me. I'm like over the moon. And what's odd is I'm waiting for the camera to get delivered that was celebrating 10,000. So the fact that like they're going to happen relatively close to each other is crazy. All right, let's try again. Nope, not yet my friends, not yet. We have hit 10,000 and one subscriber. I can't believe it. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I can't think of a better way to end this vlog except by saying take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone. Until next time, bye-bye.